field position if we're short. I can get us the three yards. They'll be expecting Jay. I'm telling you, give me the ball, not get us the yards. Welcome back to another episode of All American Season 6, Episode 2. Liv writes a new novel, Jamie and Asher adjust to parenting, and tensions between Jordan and Spencer grow. Asher and Jamie acclimatize to being parents. Once more, everyone is gathered around a beach house bonfire. But as baby Adge gets ready for bed, we witness some genuine conversations taking place. Spencer is trying to get Olivia and Jordan together, but Olivia is obviously trying to avoid him. Coop sees an opportunity to let Patience spend the evening alone. Plans quickly alter when Asher sends the boys to their girl's house due to Adge's incessant wailing, which plunges Jamie into a spiral of remorse. She advises them to just try to get through the teething stage without assistance because she is concerned about them being good parents and having to seek help often. After being a great support to them, Asher goes looking for Mrs. P Baker and asks her to help them find a place to live. She believes that Grandpa Willie's house has been unoccupied for far too long and gives them some breathing room. Ryan is coming to help. Patience is still receiving support from Coop, and Lila has suggested that she learn self-defense since Patience is feeling the impact of Miko's frequent outings. She wants to feel strong in her circumstances rather than like a victim. Ultimately, Ryan provides Patience with the guidance and practical assistance she needs. Jordan is tired of it. Both spouses are working through their issues back at the Baker residence. Jordan wants to move in with Layla and has been busy getting ready for their wedding. His soon-to-be bride hasn't given any of them much thought, but we learn later that Layla is a traditionalist who doesn't want to move in before getting married. When Liv tells Jordan that she is writing a book on their father, Jordan at last comprehends why she was acting strangely towards him. She's already struck a deal with a publisher, so he fears it will get too personal and doesn't trust her. Not to mention that Spencer is reconsidering his strategy due to his shadow on the field, which is reinforced by Coach Max rumors. Olivia's book raises some red flags. Although she is anxious to inform her mother, she is actually asking for everyone's support and consent in advance to ensure that the narrative is delivered with dignity. Laura comes around and tells Jordan that he wants her to feel like she's home again once she puts her trust in Liv to relay Billy's story. Spencer's vision. Spencer, in the meantime, is in disarray due to the amount of media attention he is receiving. He and Olivia discuss what guidance Billy might offer. Olivia pushes Spencer to consider his goals and future, particularly in light of the NFL draft discussions. Mama Grace reminds her kid of his dreams in exactly the same way. Jordan becomes the media's focus after the season's opening game. Feeling envious of Jordan's spotlight moment, Spencer declares he's going to the NFL draft. His claim that he did this to get the media off his back is a little bit of a lie, and although his family is pleased, he is now the center of attention for more people. Olivia challenges Spencer to consider what lies ahead as the episode comes to a close. Spencer is going to go through the same changes that occurred during her absence in terms of growth and development. Does he have what it takes? Is the question he must respond to. Thank you for watching.